I took a flight to Jet Blue um, from New York to um, Jacksonville, Florida. Um, when I got there, I had um, a carry on and I had my luggage. They told me that um, I had to basically check um, basically my suitcase in. So I jumped my suitcase in. I had two laptops in my bags. Um, they told me that my bag was heavy and with other cases. So I took out the laptop, whatever cases. So I went on, on my other laptop I had was in my other bag. So as I get there to the um TSA, I believe, um, they checked my things, whatever the cases, and they told me to take out all the electronics and other um devices. I didn't have anything in um my carry on besides like my electronics being that that is all of my um basically technology barrack and it's all stored and it's on individual um case or um, cases um so i went to there they told me let's take all our devices and go put it back in and that was it so once i put once i actually got to there um they assumed that they was putting on. When I got there to like the window to hold my um, plan, I seen that it was throwing suitcases in. And it happened that three of the suitcases, three suitcases that I seen on the but it just happened that one was mine. So um, we finally, like finally boarded the plane. Um, once I seen that incident happen, I actually went to um, one, I want to say board, boarding managers or boarding people that board you. And told the situation she was like, everything will be okay. And that was the end of that. Um, so once we got to Jacksonville, got to fi- finally got to Jacksonville, they told us what um gay our stuff we got and I went there. When I went there, um there was like a couple of scratches on my suitcase. And I didn't really pay like no mind for that. Um in the midst of that, I by my luggage um from from the airport to my destination was about a, a hour and 30 minute drive. And it was Thanksgiving day. So when I finally got to my destination, um, I didn't really, I didn't check my bag because there was no need to because you know, it was Thanksgiving day. So I just continued to do what I believe. The next day, um, I had to do some assignments on my laptop. And so that's when I finally got the chance to open my bag and go through it. And my bag with all my devices and it, my laptop was cracked. Um, what I had was a hard shell case on it, and that was somewhat cracked too. Um, but yeah, the laptop I have it right here. The laptop itself is not cracked. It's the screen on the laptop. It's like um shattered at the bottom, and my space bar isn't. My space bar isn't um. It's basically, the whole screen itself is blacked out, and my space bar is not only say cracked, but like when you break a TV, it's like a shattered um ink bust, I guess you want to say. So um yeah. So when that happened, um I called them as soon as I recognized as soon as I unlocked that situation what happened, I called them and it was given like a runaround theme that, that, that I guess it was either because of the stance given or nobody was at the phones. So then I proceeded to call back the following day. When I called back the following day, they were saying that oh we can't do nothing about it. And they said that especially because you didn't call within four hours as if I knew that it was like a four hour limit to it. And even if it was a four hour limit to it, um, I still called within those couple of hours. Um, but no one picked up whatever cases. So they were saying that I would have to do a whole thing for it. And they were asking me what would I want to do, but they were trying to give me like a $75 credit, which is not compared to one of my laptops being damaged, being the fact that I go to school, I work for my laptop, and some of my assignments are getting within the next two weeks. And I had to explain to my professors that, you know, I'm, I don't have a laptop right now. All my work is done off the, off the laptop, and my laptop is quite being that the fact that um, I had traveled. Um, basically, they wanted me to give them an update to see if my situation was fixed. Because, um, like I said, it is um, final semester, so like all my finals is coming up. Um, so that was about it. I had the laptop right here. Oh, but what I was saying was, I'm sorry. 
they told me that um they didn't give me a seventy five dollar credit, but I was trying to explain like seventy five dollars is not what my laptop um calls is way more than that. And I feel like she wasn't the lady I was speaking to wasn't really like understanding and really didn't care. Um, but then I explained to her, like, yeah, they told me to take out my laptop and put it in another bag where I had my laptop safe right in my um luggage due to the fact that I know how situations like that goes on with carry-ons. And that's about it. So then they kind of felt it need to you guys to email and explain my situation. But it's just bad due to the fact that, like, this is, I don't have, I only had this laptop for, I want to say, two years. It's a brand new laptop. Um, I only use it for school and work. So it kind of sucks that Jeff Wu was saying that there's nothing could be done and this pushed it all. Um, either to uh, a, a new laptop, like something, because all literally all my work and my school work is in it. So it's not like I even have another laptop with all my stuff in it or even back up to it. And I literally only had to, this is a brand new computer, like brand new, I only had it for two years. So it being damaged is not me getting say five dollars is not i either need a new like some type half of the um half of the money for my laptop a whole new laptop but i just feel like that should be it due to the fact that i was told to take my laptop out the bag and put it in another bag my laptop would have been probably safe if i would have never took it out that bag mm -hmm.